All right, have a really cool clip here. In this video, we're comparing two oval brilliant cuts um, that we've personally hand selected. Beautiful, beautiful proportion sets on both diamonds. Um, your bow ties are minimal or faint on these ovals. There's no heavy black band uh, in it. Both of these ovals distributing, uh, having a really nice distribution of, of brightness and contrast throughout, their, um, throughout the body of the diamond. The diamond on the left is a 110 EVS2. The diamond on the right is a 137 DSI1. Okay, you could see that the 110 EVS2 has a little bit more um, is a little bit more narrower in its length to width ratio, while the 137 is a little bit um, has a little bit more across the belly. But both are exquisite and beautiful ovals. Both have your uh, nice. Um, uh, a nice ray of brightness going across the belly as opposed to the darkness. Okay. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to take them into spotlighting, check out fire and sparkle in both of these guys. Okay. And here is the 110. Showing nice fire across the uh, belly of the diamond. Really nice fire, and same with the 137. Okay. All right, we're in the dimmer spotlighting environment that I show diamonds in. Very pretty. I'm going to take you now into uh, stronger spotlighting and we'll look at fire and sparkle there as well. And as you know, ovals tend to uh, emphasize many smaller flashes of light as opposed to larger, broader flashes of light. Let's go into um, stronger spotlighting now. Once again, we're starting off with this 110 EVS2. Spectacular oval. Absolutely gorgeous. Both of these, both of them being colorless, completely colorless, beautiful white um, diamonds. Just a little bit of difference, uh, slight differences in your proportions and in your length to width ratio. So this is our spotlighting on steroids here, stronger spotlighting. And you know, for the client who I'm shooting this for, I do happen to know you own also, uh, you also own an August vintage cushion. And let me just say ovals are the antithesis of an August vintage cushion because these emphasize many smaller reflections uh, of light while the August vintage emphasizes fewer larger reflections. All right. And um, to wrap this up, I'm going to bring you also by the window as well. Okay. Okay, and here we are in daylight. Once again, starting off with the 110 here on my left. And the 138 on my right. Now, this is actually, uh, here I am by the window, right? And this is a good place to actually show you certain things to do with bow ties in ovals, actually. Because the closer that you hold an, an oval to sh things that are going to produce shadows, like right now I have the ovals closer to the camera lens than in the prior clips. And look when I bring the, the diamonds closer to the lens. You can see more of the shadow of the camera reflecting into the ovals, making it appear like the bow ties are bigger and darker. That's because the closer I move the ovals to the lens of the camera, the more you're going to see that. Same thing if you were looking at the diamonds in real life. The more you bring it closer to your face, the more you're going to increase the chances of seeing a bow tie effect. All right, and that's just a natural function of diamonds and also head body shadow within diamonds. Okay, but in the world of ovals, he's got it going on. <laughs> and that wraps up this video here by the window.
and these two beautiful ovals. Really, I'm going to just give you my honest opinion here, uh, M. Uh, the length to width ratio on this one, I kind of really do like, you know, better. Both of these, though, are, are freaking gorgeous. I, I can't remember the length to width ratio of this 137 off the top of my head, but it's, it's still a great ratio for an oval. So both of these are beautiful stones. Um, you know, watch the clip once or twice more, and you got to get the one that sings to you most as you're looking at all the, at the at the two diamonds and all their lighting. But you have my uh, you have my reassurance that in the world of ovals, we're looking at top of the line cuts in the world of ovals. All right, there, boss. We'll hear from you in email. Thank you.